Originally designed as a diplomatic envoy vessel, the Consular-class cruiser was the latest in a long-running series of Republic starships that dated back as far as the Rusan Reformation. The Consular was militarised at the outbreak of the Clone Wars and reclassified as a frigate, taking its place as one of the most dependable and commonly employed warships in the Republic Navy. At a length of 115 metres, the space frame of the Consular-class is fully indicative of the design's Corellian origins, echoing many of the styles that would be later seen in the iconic CR-90 Corvette. The Consular class carries a standard crew of nine, with extensive internal space devoted to passenger accommodation. The ship's prow features a large cylindrical module known as a Salon Pod. This compartment contains comfortable living quarters and recreational facilities for Republic ambassadors and dignitaries. In the case of an emergency, the entire pod can be jettisoned to serve as a durable, long-term lifeboat. In its original diplomatic configuration, the Consular class carried no weapons, but the ship's Clone Wars retrofit added four emplaced turbo laser arrays and a pair of concussion missile launchers. When serving as part of a Republic battle group, consular class frigates are most often used as outrider vessels, moving quickly through the engagement zone to eliminate hostile fighter squadrons or draw fire away from friendly warships. During the Clone Wars, it became common practice to load Consular-class vessels into the ventral docking bay of Venator-class Star Destroyers, where they would serve as an extremely valuable auxiliary craft for use in reconnaissance missions, detached assignments, and emergency evacuations. This tactic proved its value at the Sky Battle of Quell during the early months of open warfare with the Confederacy. During the engagement, a Republic fleet under the command of General Ayla Secura suffered heavy damage from a number of Confederate boarding parties. Though the battle was ultimately lost, the senior officers of the Republic flagship Liberty, including General Secura herself, were able to escape into hyperspace aboard a Consular-class frigate stored within the crippled Star Destroyer. In both its original envoy role and later military duties, the Consular class remained a reliable and well-respected spacecraft. As one of relatively few warship designs employed by the Republic during the Clone Wars, a great deal of reliance was placed upon the Consular to serve as the fleet's only true light escort and fast attack vessel, roles in which the ship served with distinction across the full course of its career. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.